Hello everyone. In today's video, I will explain how to calculate irregular land area in square feet as well as in square meter. So, firstly, I will start with how to find the irregular land area in square feet. So, this is the area of the plot which is shown here and the dimensions are from M to N is 18 feet 8 inch. Uh, here, uh, single days indicates the feet and double days indicates the inch and from N to O is 11 feet and O to P is 14 feet 2 inch and from P to M is 10 feet 4 inch. So, you can see here all sides are different. Now, what we have to do here is we have to draw a diagonal line like this from O to M and the line can be drawn from P to N as well so that we can get the area separately. Now, I will consider this area as section 1 and this area as section 2. So, first, firstly, I will find the area for this section. So, let's consider the distance from O to P is for A and from O to M is B and from M to P is C. And the area of this type of irregular shape length can be calculated by using Heron's formula. That is root under S, S minus A, S minus B and S minus C. Here uh, we know the value for A, B and C but this value, this S value is unknown to us. Here S is the semi-perimeter. Here se uh, semi-perimeter is the half of sum of all sides. So, here in this formula we can directly put the values of A, B and C. That is, this is the value for A and this is the value for B and this is the value for C. But here you can see uh, uh, this value. A value is 10 feet 2 inch. This value is in terms of feet and this value is in terms of inch. So, we have to convert this inch to feet. So, we know that 1 feet is equal to 12 inch. So, if we have to convert inch to feet then this 2 will be divided by 12. So, that will get this value that is around 0 0.116. So, this A value will come like this 14.16 plus V value is 20 feet. So, we don't need to convert this value and C value is 10 feet 4 inch. So, again we have to convert this value that is 4 feet to uh, 4 inch to feet. So, again we have to divide this 4 by 12 so that we will get the value around 0.33. So, so the S value is 22.24. So, uh, by putting all the values in this formula, uh, we will get area is equal to 69.24 square feet. Now, uh, we will find the area for section this is section 2 so uh, we already know that S, that is semi perimeter uh, is equal to a plus b plus c is equal to 2 here this distance will consider it as a and this distance will consider it as b and this distance will consider it as c so uh, we got the value for s is equal to 24.83 feet so uh, by putting all the values in this formula will get the area around 101.13 square feet. So, now we have an area for section 1 as well as we have an area for section 2. So, by combining both the areas, we will get the total area is equal to 69.24 plus 101.13. Uh, so, it is equal to 170.37 square feet. So, in this way, we have to calculate the area of irregular length. Now, next is how to calculate the irregular length area in square meter. So, uh, this is the area of the plot shown here where all dimensions are considered in meter. Here also, we have to follow the same procedure. First, uh, we have to draw a diagonal line like this. Either you can draw uh, this line like this way 
uh, now I will consider this area as section 1 and this area as section 2. So firstly I will find the area for this section. So we already know that S is equal to half of sum of all the sides. Uh, S is nothing but the semi perimeter. So this A, B and C, this distance we already know. So we will get S is equal to 44 meter. So we already know the formula for finding the area. And here uh, these values are known to us and the area we will get is around 336.93 meter square. Now consider the area for section B. Here also we have to follow the same thing. Uh, we know the distance of this distance, this distance and this distance. So uh, this one is considered as A, this one is considered as B and this one is considered as C. So uh, we will get around 38 meter. So we have to put this value in the main formula for finding the area and we will get the value around 226.71 meter square. So we know the area for section A and uh, we also know the area for section B. So the total area, uh, the total area can be determined by adding these two values that is 336.93 plus 226.71 that is around 633.64 meter square. This is the total area in terms of the square meter.